Hi, welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, this was one suggested by a uh, friend of mine, Jean. Um, and it's just to have a quick look at how to make words speak for you. Um, and it, depending on which version you've got, there's different ways of doing it. Now, if you've got a screen reader installed on the computer, you might not necessarily need this as an option, but not everybody wants or needs a screen reader. Um, they might just want to be able to read back some stuff and some documents for various different reasons. Might um, have difficulties with words, might uh, you know, dyslexia, um, might have some visual impairment, might have you know all sorts of um, all sorts of issues. So, uh, so yeah, there have been many reasons why they uh, why they'd want them to to uh, be able to speak their uh, their word documents. So I'm on Office 365, so it's quite easy for me really. So if I just quickly type a um, sentence in there, oops, excuse me, typing too fast tonight. Okay, so if you've got Office 365, <coughs> One thing I've mentioned before, um, if you've seen some of my previous videos, is this thing called Immersive Reader. Now, I didn't realise myself to recently, this is actually available in Microsoft Teams as well, um, which I would have included in my video had I realised. And it's also available in OneNote and a couple of other, other Office programmes as well, I believe. So if you go into the View tab, if you have Office 365, there's um, this Focus option here, for starters, which basically just takes out all the, all the clutter around the screen and just gives you this bit. There's also, oops, I just wanted me to do that. Just press escape to come out of that. Uh, there's also the immersive reader. So that basically just sort of simplifies the text, spreads, uh, spaces the words out for you. You can change uh, line focus if you want to. So you can just have it focusing on one line. So if I just press up now, it will just literally just show me the one line. So that's quite nice. And you can type in that as well as as well as well look back at what you've already already read. And then it's got this option here, read aloud. So hopefully this is working okay. So that is the easiest way to make your Word documents speak to you if you have Office 365. And I don't think this immersive reader is necessarily available in some of the older versions of Office, unfortunately. But not a problem, there's other ways to do it. So another way is if you go to File and Options, and this is true of uh, I think most versions of Word, and go to uh, customize ribbon. Now what you need to do is you need to make a new group. So if I decide where to put it first, I'll just put it in the I'll put it in the view tab along with the uh, the one. So if I go to view and click on new group, and I can rename that if I want to. Just call it um, just call it my group. Very original. Um, and then on the left hand side here, if I just click on uh, all commands, easiest way to find it. Try that again. That's just been a bit slow. And scroll right down to S in all in alphabetical order. And hopefully down here somewhere, if I can find it, there is one that says speak. And I'm going to add it to my group. So I click on add. And there you go. It's popped it in there now. OK. So now if I go to uh, review and tap it in, no, sorry, view, sorry. I've got my speak option here. Now this one works if you highlight the text. So you can either click and drag, you can double click to highlight a word, you can triple click to highlight a sentence if you want to, or you can press Control and A on your keyboard and that will highlight everything, and then you can click on speak. And that's available in older versions of Word as well, so that's that's a nice option. So really easy. Uh, and the other way to uh, to do it, let me just quietly quickly get the website up. There is a really good add-on that's been around for many many years now called Word Talk. Oops. So if you are in a position where you can um, install um, add-ons to your Word, it depends on on obviously on your situation whether you, you know, you're on a work network or school network, and if you're have permissions to uh, to put this sort of thing on. This is a free plugin for Microsoft Word from uh, an organisation called the Call Centre in Scotland, um, who have been around for a long time. Um, and basically, what this does is it adds a toolbar onto Word like this. Um, really straightforward. It's quite a small toolbar. But it doesn't matter because you can use keyboard shortcuts for all this as well. So you can speak from cursor. You've got an option to speak a whole paragraph. You've got an option to speak a sentence. You've got an option just to speak the one word if you want to. 
or you can speak selection. So if you do highlight some text, you can just speak the selection that you've highlighted. So if you click on sentence, it reads that out to me. It's really handy. It's got some settings in there, so you can change the uh, the voice, you can change color, you can change speed. Uh, you've got keyboard shortcuts so you can have on if you want to. So you can press Alt and One, Alt and Two, Alt and Three, etc., to do those options as well if you need to. So and then click on Save Setting there. Oh, sorry, I missed one of the settings in there. One second. Uh, yeah, I know you've also got. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. You've also got a few options on there to echo words and sentences and speak and double click and things like that. So uh, yeah, some nice little settings in there. And the other really nice thing about this one is you can uh, save sound files. So if you've got a great big Word document, you can actually save, save it as an MP3 or a WAV file, um, which then you could put on your phone or I don't know if anyone has MP3 players anymore, but you could put it on an MP3 player or phone and you could listen back to it whenever you want or on your computer. So yes, yeah, so that's that one's called Word Talk. It's also got a little spell checker thing in there as well, which is perhaps a little bit easier than the. Uh, I better make some mistakes in it first. I don't know. Let me just type in uh, giraffe, um, and then let's try that again. Oh, perhaps I need to have it. Oh, there we go. Right. Obviously, a little bit bigger than um, than the, the normal word spell checker. So spelling correct. Um, I think you have to have it selected on the specific word you want to check the spelling of. There we go. So I've put giraffe in with a J deliberately, and then it's given me the spelling there. Because the spell checker in Word isn't isn't the biggest, and this one you know just looks a little bit more, a little bit clearer. Um, so that's quite nice, and it's got some options to find synonyms, synonyms and things like that as well. So yeah, so that one's called Word Talk. There are various other um, add-ons and things that you can get for speaking things in Word, but those are the three sort of simplest and main options really i mean ideally if you can use the immersive reader they're brilliant um or if you can add the speak option that i added before um to your um toolbar that's that's quite nice as well because then that's a bit more transferable you can go to any computers and, and quickly bob that on if, if you have permission to do so um but if you are on a computer you're using a lot and if you want something that's a little bit more involved and has a few more options on it something like word talk is, is a really good option Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, quite a short video this time, uh, and in my next video, hopefully, I'm going to be talking about um, accessibility settings on the Xbox One, so uh, and possibly the Nintendo Switch as well, so uh, I'm looking forward to doing that one. Okay, thanks very much, bye!